Hi, I'm Scott for ediblemusic.com. One thing you want to look out for when you're working with EQ is to be sure that the filters that you're applying are only affecting the frequencies that you want them to and that they're leaving the surrounding frequencies intact. There are a few features on an EQ plugin that will help you get there. There's the frequency setting, which will determine where on the frequency spectrum the filter will be applied. The gain setting will determine how much louder or how much quieter you want that filter to affect the sound. But then there's this mysterious Q setting, which seems to do something very different from those. And Q on an EQ just stands for quality. And you can think of quality in the same way as you do generally, just as an adjective to describe something. So in this case, an EQ filter, the quality would be either narrow or wide. A narrow Q will have a higher number, a wider Q will have a lower number. So the quality is merely a way of describing the shape of the filter, the narrowness or the width of the filter. That's it, pretty simple. But when you're applying and adjusting the Q, this is the way to ensure that you're only working with the frequencies that you want. So I'll show you how to do that with this example that I'm working on here. I'm EQing a guitar. It has some pick noise that I'd like to get rid of. So I'll walk you through how to locate that pick noise and get rid of it. And adjusting those three settings together, the frequency, the gain, and the Q will help you to keep a tidy track and a tidy overall mix as well. And if you're just getting started on mixing, I wanna invite you to my five day foundation, which is an email course I developed. It outlines all the steps of mixing for you, how to think about things, how to approach things, and to demystify a lot of the parts of mixing that might feel confusing or frustrating. If you think that would be helpful for you, I want you to have it and we'll help you to get your sounds sounding great. So I'll fire up the CQ plugin And if you're unsure about where on the frequency spectrum a problem is, you know, if you can hear a problem but you're not sure how to locate it very quickly, then what I'll usually recommend to do is to start at the bottom and just sweep up until that offending part of the sound starts to go away. Not yet. right around there. And I'll boost it up to show you what I mean in case you can't hear it quite. Maybe I'll even solo it. Right there. So now that you can hear it, I'll turn the EQ off just so that you can maintain it in your ears. So let's pull it down. And I'm gonna solo it again because what you'll notice here There's a lot of the guitar sound in there as well that we want to keep. So if we narrow the cue, I'm going to turn off solo just to save your ears. Now, as I narrow the cue, you'll hear some of those guitar parts come back in.
Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? I'll solo it again. Now, electric guitars are really complex sounds, so it's difficult to isolate just that pick noise. But if you narrow the cue up a little bit, you'll get at least as close into it as you can without causing any issues with the quality of the sound. Quality. And I'll reset the cue to the default and you'll notice the difference. Too much, so when you narrow it, it lets those good parts of the guitar sound back in. When you're working with an EQ plugin, then most of them will have a numbered system for their cue settings. And anything under one will be a broad filter that's useful for separation or emphasis, while numbers between one and five will give you a narrower cue that's useful for targeting more precise frequencies. And then as you saw, you can just tuck an offending part of the sound back into it in a way that doesn't destroy the natural character of the recorded sound, and also doesn't require us to slice out that entire part of the frequency spectrum. It's just helping to get rid of the noise and let the music happen instead. So make sure that you're working with the gain and the cue settings together. Nudge the frequency uh, setting around a little bit if it doesn't feel as though it's affecting the problem that you identified and you'll be on your way to a great sounding track. Have fun.